I hope you're having a great day. Today, I want to talk about two simple ways uh, to combat acidity. A lot of people across the world suffer from acidity. We've done a lot of videos on acidity. Sometimes you could have low stomach acid. Sometimes you could have excessive stomach acid. The thing is, the symptoms can be the same. But while there are foods that you have to look at, the kind of foods that suit you, the foods that don't suit you, how fast you eat, how well you chew your food, the timings of your meals, the gaps that you keep between your meals. If you're on heavy medication, that can also cause acidity sometimes. So technically, there are many things to look at. But what we're discussing today is if you have severe heartburn or if you have severe acidity, what can you do immediately to kind of get instant relief or reduce the burning sensation that you have? You may take care of your certain food habits or you may eat if you're hungry or you've delayed your meals, but instantly what you can do that works really well is number one, your breathing, your breath work. Diaphragmatic breathing, we've spoken about this many times ago. So when you're in that pain, all you need to do is sit with your back straight. Okay, you put your left hand on your belly and you put your right hand on your chest. Now what you're gonna do is as you inhale, your belly has to rise first and then your chest. As you exhale, your chest comes down and then your belly goes back in. This is called belly breathing or it's called diaphragmatic breathing. So the simplest way to remember this kind of breathing is think of a balloon. Okay, think of a balloon. To inflate the balloon, you have to blow air in. So when I'm inhaling, think of your stomach as a balloon. As you inhale, the balloon rises. Okay, as you exhale, the balloon deflates. So as you press out the air from a balloon, the air comes out and it deflates. That is called belly breathing. Now you can do three, four, five, six, seven counts. While you're doing this diaphragmatic breathing or this belly breathing, you will find that the pain slowly starts reducing. You still gotta take care of the root cause of the problem, why you've got an acidic. But to get that instant relief, diaphragmatic breathing or belly breathing can give you that kind of relief. The second thing that you can do is lie on the left side. Lie on your left side with your head raised. So you can stack up two to three pillows and you lie on your left side with your head raised up and in the fetal position. That means you bring your knees towards your chest, like the fetal position. If you can't do that, you can keep your legs stretched out. That's not a problem. But the important part is to lie on your left side. Okay, you're not lying on your stomach, you're not lying on your back, you're lying on your left side with your head slightly raised, which you can use cushions or pillows. So the sequence could be breathing number one. You do the belly breathing first. Now, sometimes if the acidity is really bad, you may find that you can't breathe. So then you go to step number two and you lie in that position. It's very important that you raise your head so that you use those cushions and you use those pillows to raise your head. And then even while you're in this position, you can practice belly breathing. As you inhale gently, your stomach rises. As you exhale, your stomach deflates. So it's a good thing to practice belly breathing even if you're not acidic right now so that you know how to do it if you do have severe heartburn or when the acidity does play a problem in your life and you have this severe gas-like feeling, this burning-like sensation. It is very important for you to understand that your breath work can give you relief. It won't take away your acidity, but it can give you relief. And lying on your left side with your head propped up can also give you relief. Remember, everyone's different, everyone's unique. So what works for someone doesn't have to work for someone else. If you are constantly acidic, it's a good thing if you go back and watch all of our videos to see why you're acidic, what you can do. Because like I said, a lot of people pop antacids thinking that they have too much of acid. And now they create a bigger problem because now they have low stomach acid and because of that they have stomach infections, they have bloating, they have constipation, they have IBS-like issues, they have constant burping. So you need to understand whether you have low stomach or high stomach acid. For that, you can check out our videos. There's one more very powerful breathing exercise, but we're gonna use our next video time to teach you that video, which is a very cooling pranayam that can help you if you're feeling acidic. So you wanna try this, it works like magic. Like I said, in most cases, it will. But always remember that you need to address the root cause of your problem. So if you're acidic, while you can take antacids and do all of these things, you still wanna find out why are you acidic in the first place, address the root cause so that you are no longer acidic. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great week. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.